Cost functions plays a very crucial role in machine learning algorithm. They help us to measure how models predicted value align with the true value of the targeted variable. Hi there, welcome back. Here in this lesson, you will learn what exactly a cost function is and why do we need them. And also, we're going to explore different types of cost functions that we can use with machine learning model. So what exactly a cost function is? Cost function is also known as loss function or objective function. It quantifies the discrepancy between model's predicted value and the true value of the targeted value. It also to, helps to calculate the cost incurred by the models while predicting the actual value. The main objective of training a model is to reduce the cost function. Why do we need cost function then? See, during the training process, this cost function work with optimization process in order to measure that how the model is performing and they also help in adjusting the model's parameter in order to reduce the cost and improves the accuracy of the model and again we need this cost function in order to evaluate the model's performance with the help of cost function they provide the quantitative value in order to get the model's accuracy and also can com compare with different models or algorithms now let us discuss the different types of cost function. Let us discuss the very first one which is mean square error. This cost function is a widely used cost function suitable for the regression problems. It calculates the average square difference between the predicted value and the actual value and then it is divided by the total number of items. Here you can see how you can uh, perform this operation mathematically. So here you can see this MSE, which is a short form of mean square error, penalizes the large errors and just because of the squaring operation. It is very sensitive to the outliers, which means that it emphasizes the larger errors, making it suitable when you want to prioritize in order to reduce those errors and make your model accurate. Second, we have mean absolute error one of the most commonly used cost function it is also suitable for the regression task and it also measures the difference between the predicted value and the true value you can see how you can do mathematically 1 upon n into the summation of the true value and the predicted value difference and this mae which is the mean absolute error is robust to the outliers meanwhile the mean score error was uh, you know sensitive to the outliers but here in this case of mae the mean absolute error they are robust to the outliers because we are not performing any squaring operation that we do have in mse and it provides a linear penalty of errors okay now the problem with the mae that it will going to treat all the errors equally See, in the case of MSE, well, whenever you're going to have the outlier just because of the squaring operation, you can see the difference. But in the case of MAE, you could not find those differences. So this is the you know, major difference between the MSE and the MAE. So the best solution which we can have, it is the root mean square error. Here, it is the variant of MSE. Here, we are doing the same thing, but at last, we are performing the root operation okay so in this way you're going to get the value looks like that what exactly the difference between the actual and the predicted value so this is somehow you can use it because uh, it solved the problem of the outlier sensitivity which MSE have but yeah it's up to you which uh, cost function you want to use and how your data set looks like you have to you know understand how, about your data set and then you have to pick one of the cost function in order to get the cost function and other than it these three types like mean square error mean absolute error and the root mean square error are best for the regression problem okay now we have to choose we have to first understand like what kind of data set you have if you have a problem related to the regression then choose this three whatever we have discussed but if you have any uh, data set related to the classification in classification we have 
binary classification and the multi-class classification for them we have different cost function in the case of binary classification we have binary cross entropy and if you want to have the multi-class classification for it we have categorical entropy okay so you have to understand okay what kind of data set you have and then you have to choose the cost function this cost function is very very important as we discuss okay don't forget it so as i mentioned the binary cross entropy is suitable for the binary classification problems it measures the dissimilarity between the predicted value and the actual value and here you can see there how you can compute mathematically so binary cross entropy equal to first minus in bracket you need to put the predict the actual value log of predictive value plus one minus the actual value into the log of one minus the predicted value so this is how this formula looks like mathematically okay if you're already familiar with linear, uh, the logistic regression you might be familiar with this equation okay now we have another kind of classification which is multi-class classification for it we have categorical cross entropy okay here you can see the mathematical equation it is similar to previous one but there is a one difference so here we have to first do the summation of the actual value and to do the log of predicted value okay so this is more suitable for for multi-class classification so we have discussed the five different types of cost function the first one is mean square error second one is mean absolute error third one is root mean square error these three is for regression problem then we have understood about uh, this binary cross entropy which is suitable for binary classification problem then we have the categorical cross entropy which is suitable for the multi-class classification so these are five types of classif uh, cost function which we have learned today and we're going to apply it practically as well in upcoming lesson till then Stay motivated, keep learning, see you in the next class. Bye.